I'm Jane Lynch. Welcome to Vegas for LG's big announcement. Thanks for showing up at this absolutely ungodly hour, and I hope all of you got a good night's sleep. Okay, so my friends at LG asked me to kick this thing off, and I owe them big time as they helped me through a difficult personal battle with text rage. Well, they scared me straight, gave me a second chance. You may have seen my educational video series on LG's TextEd website. And now I'm back to repay the favor. They brought me here to CES to introduce you to LG's new smart technology. Now, when I first heard about this smart technology, I have to say it gave me pause. Smart technology? Really? Smart TVs, smartphones, smart diagnosis? Just what exactly do you mean by smart technology? Smart like Einstein? Smart like these LG products can read my mind. Are you telling me that my refrigerator will know things like what I'm craving right now? And it's Bundt cake, by the way. I'm sure you're all wondering just how this smart technology will affect our lives. And I'll admit, I am a little skeptical, but I am excited. So show me the smart, LG. Impress me. Good morning and Happy New Year, New Year, everyone. I'm John Taylor, Vice President with LG Electronics USA. It's nice to see so many friends and familiar faces in the crowd today. Welcome to CES for LG's unveiling of the new generation of home entertainment products, home appliances, and mobile phones. I think Jane must be confused about this ungodly hour. My watch says 11 a.m. Well, regardless of the time zone, we're excited to be here in Vegas to kick off Press Day again this year. I, would, I want to remind you of the CES press conference rules. 45 minutes so you can get on to the next one. Time is short, and we have a fast-paced program for you today, so let's get on with it. First, I have the pleasure of introducing Mr. Wayne Park. He has nearly three de decades of industry experience. He served as head of LG's global digital TV strategy, held key roles in the LG chairman's office, and was also executive VP of corporate strategy for LG Electronics globally. As our corporation's most senior executive in the Western Hemisphere, Wayne Park is president and CEO of LG Electronics USA. He's responsible for overseeing all activities for LG's home entertainment products, home appliances, air conditioning and energy solutions, and commercial displays in the United States. Please join me in a warm LG welcome for the boss and my good friend, Mr. Wayne Park. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the press day kickoff for CES 2011. 2010 was a very important year for LG Electronics. It was a year in which we took great steps to realize our past strengths and position LG for success in year 2011 and beyond. As we are being in the new year, we are laser focused on four core areas. Competitiveness, preparedness, quality, and people. These areas work in harmony to engage consumers, enhance our product offerings, and accelerate growth, which has been impressive in the U.S. market, given the difficult economic environment. In 2010, North America represented about one quarter of LGE's global revenues and our brand awareness in the United States increased to 96%, and this is up from 94% in year 2009 and 92% in 2008. This was achieved through successes in each of our divisions during 2010. Our home appliance business was resilient. We continued our leadership in the front load laundry and multi-door refrigerator categories. In mobile phones, 
While 2010 sales were softer than hoped, we were number one in consumer satisfaction, according to J.D. Power. And in home entertainment, LG is now a top three player in both LCD and plasma, and we continue to lead the way in connected devices. As you can see, our successes in 2010 have laid a solid foundation for our 2011 focus areas, starting with focus area number one, strengthening business competitiveness. In our new responsibility management system, the business units play a central role and new innovative products will be consistently introduced to market. We will accelerate innovation throughout the value chain while enhancing organizational effectiveness and productivity. Now let's touch on LG Focus Area 2, preparing for future business. LG will strengthen investment in new technology and new business areas as a growth engine for our future. For 2011, we are proud that LG Group is making its largest investment in R&D ever, more than 12 billion US dollars for its electronics companies alone. Additionally, LG is further developing capabilities for accurately predicting the future business landscape so that we can lead the market ahead of our competitors. LG focus area number three is about establishing a quality management system that emphasizes responsibility. Quality is a promise we make to our customers, a promise that should never be broken. LG's rigorous quality management system is based on Six Sigma principles for quality improvement. And we are encouraging all employees to assume greater individual responsibility for quality. Last but not least, LG focus area number four is to nurture excellent talents. LG will consistently secure and nurture excellent talents at home and abroad while cultivating an organizational culture based on creativity and autonomy. This will be achieved in an environment of fairness in which each employee is encouraged to create value for our customers and take on challenges without fear of failure. In conclusion, LG will concentrate on building for sustainable growth and further strengthening competitiveness. Our goal is to continue to earn the trust of our customers by securing a competitive edge in core businesses based on quality and speed in R&D and manufacturing. And as we enter the new year, we see continuing steady improvement in the U.S. economy and look forward to continued growth in our core product categories. These improvements, combined with our four core focus areas for 2011, will undoubtedly strengthen LG and make it a truly memorable year. We hope you will join us in our CES booth this week to see firsthand all of our smart technologies you will hear about in a minute. Suffice to say, 2011 promises to be an exciting year. Thank you again and have a great show. Thank you, Mr. Park. And now I'd like to welcome our special guest speaker, Dr. Scott Ahn. He is President and Chief Technology Officer for LG Electronics, overseeing the company's 17,000 engineers around the world. Dr. Ahn is a chief innovator and a driving force behind LG's cutting edge technology. Some of you may remember him during his three-year tenure as President and CEO of the LG Electronics Mobile Communications Company LG experienced significant growth, increasing its unit sales by more than 20% every year. Dr. Ahn has been instrumental in positioning LG firmly among the global top three electronics companies and greatly enhancing LG's reputation in the process. 
Now to give you a sneak peek at the advanced technologies coming from LG's laboratories, Dr. Scott Ahn. Good morning, everyone, uh, and thank you uh, taking the time uh, to join us this morning. I have a lot of ex exciting things to present to you today, but not a lot of time, so let's dive right in. For LG, 2011 is all about smart product. We have smart TVs, smart mobiles, and smart appliances. Let's start by taking a look at Smart TV. We are launching a completely new and improved platform this year, featuring an improved UI, improved content sharing, and support for TV apps. Last year, we strengthened our broadband TV by adding new premium content providers. For 2011, we have a whole new platform, LG Smart TV. I'd like to take a bit of a closer look at what you can expect from an LG Smart TV. First off, we have the home dashboard, the main menu for your Smart TV. We have a launcher bar along the bottom of the screen for quick access to your favorite applications. Above the launcher bar, uh, LG TV Smart functions are organized into cars. There is a live TV card in the top left, so you don't have to stop watching while you browse. To the right of this is the premium content card. Next is LG Apps card, where you can download additional applications. And last but not least, we have the Smart Share card. Smart Share covers content sharing and distribution. Like last year, we supported USB storage devices and the industry standard DLNA. This year, we are adding a premium content sharing solution called MediaLink. Content sharing needs to be easy to use and provide an attractive way of browsing the content that you have. Our MediaLink solution automatically gathers appropriate metadata from internet to build a really great user interface. In fact, MediaLink has a lot of really unique and exciting features, and I encourage you to take a close, closer look at over at our booth. Our list of premium content providers is growing all the time, and we are committed to working with top providers in each region around the world. Here in North America, for example, we now have the Netflix, Vudu, CinemaNow, Hulu, and Amazon. We've added the unified search function to help you find the content you really want, and this covers many of the content providers that we have on the LG Netcast system, as well as application in our app stores. Yes, we have an app store with lots of applications available at launch and more being added daily from developers all over the world as well as from the local companies. I think we'll agree our smart TVs are pretty impressive. We put a lot of hard work into developing this platform and thankfully it has paid off with a award received for both in the core LG Netcast platform and our 55-inch TV product. Although we really would love for everyone to buy one of our great new smart TVs, we know that there are reasons why that might not be possible. And we have a solution. We call it the LG Smart TV Upgraders. This small device connects to the internet and put the smart into any TV with HDMI. 3D is also really important to LG, and our range of 3D products now covers TV, Blu-ray disc players, home theater systems, 
projectors, monitors, laptops, and more. This year, we will be introducing a new type of 3D LCD TV technology using a film-type patterned retarder. Our FPR-based Cinema 3D display offers a wide range of angle, brighter pictures, and zero flickers. The glasses are lighter, don't need to synchronize to the display, and never need charging. I mentioned earlier that our home theater system are also 3D, and this is not just a marketing term. Typical surround systems are able to create sounds from all around you, but only in a flat plane. Our 3D system features a vertical 3D effect channel and dual subwoofers to create a real cinema dome effect. In the future, we'll release more 3D products and we have prototype examples here at show in the form of our 31-inch OLED TV and our auto-stereoscopic glasses-free TVs. The next thing I'd like to talk about is smartphone and mobile devices. We are always working behind the scenes on exciting technology and we are bringing out product this year incorporating some of these developments like LTE and mobile DTB. As you can see here, LG has a fairly long history of building smartphones and in 2011, we are going to be launching our new Optimus Freemium range. We have some really great smartphones coming. Our Optimus 2X is the world's first smartphone with a dual-core CPU and is able to play back full HD 1080p video. It features HDMI output as well as making it a true cinema in your pocket. Our ultra slim Optimus Black is just 9.2 millimeters thick and weighs only 3.8 ounces. In the small frame, it packs what we call a Nova display, which is the world's brightest display at 700 nit offering superior readability compared to the previous displays. I have a short video clip about these phones that I'd like to share with you before we move on. LTE is the next generation of mobile communication and is already rolling out several countries around the world. LTE is a really big deal for mobile data and we are taking it very seriously. We have developed our own LTE chipset which we are using in our LTE CDMA dual mode USB modem as well as our LTE smartphones. I would love to tell you more about our LTE products, but it would be best if you take a look yourself at our booth tomorrow afternoon. Last year, we talked about ATSC Mobile DTB and our pioneering work on the standard for this platform. We haven't stood still silence. The platform launched last year, and we have an exciting demo at our booth showcasing the first 3D ATSC mobile DTB broadcast on an auto stereoscopic glasses free display. Here is the device. We have also developed the smartphones with built-in ATSC mobile DTB tuner. Why don't you come to our booth and see the product for yourself? 
The last item to talk about today is smart appliances. Smart TV and smartphones are becoming well-known product categories, but smart appliances are something unique. We've added wireless connectivity to washing machines, refrigerators, oven, and robotic cleaners using Wi-Fi technology. LG's smart appliances provide various functions, smart access, smart grid, smart diagnosis, food management, and smart adapt. Collectively, we call this ThinQ technology. Let's look at some of the main features in more detail. Smart access allows us to control and monitor home appliances with a smartphone or tablet. Each product has a different range of functions that can be controlled with the main page listing all of the connected product in your home. With our robotic cleaners, you can view a chart of your home that cleaners has created as well as the view a live video feed from the cleaners onboard camera. Your appliances can now adapt to your personal preferences. The smart washer can download new washing cycle, while smart oven can go online to download new recipes. Smart grid functions allows you to adjust operating time to maximize the efficiency and allow the use of cheap electricity at off-peak times. Most of the functions that we've talked about here are based on Wi-Fi in order to be compatible with existing wireless network in our user's home. We also support the industry st standard for smart grid based on ZigBee. LG has been a long time leader in smart grid development around the world, participating in various important pilot projects. In US, the Southern California Edison project focused on home battery systems where we provide the control, management, and solar-based charging systems. And system company LG Chemical provided the batteries. In Germany, we participate in Europe's first real-time pricing project called Smart Was. We developed a smart server and supplied smart home appliances. In Jeju, Korea, we tested many products that you can see here at CES, as well as our solar and wind energy generation products. We also used our smart home server to monitor and control all of these devices for maximum efficiency. That's all I have today. I think we will agree that we have an excellent lineup of smart TVs, smartphones, and smart appliances for 2011. Please take the time to visit our booth. Watching, is the, is a, watching a presentation is a great, but there is nothing like seeing, holding, and interacting with these products. We also have a three demonstration at our booth this year where you can hear more about our TVs, mobile devices, home appliances, and smart products. There will be a separate session to introduce a new tablet tomorrow. See you at our booth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Ron. Now that we've heard about LG's smart technology vision, we have two speakers who will provide you a more detailed view of LG's two, 2011 product launches for the United States. For the first time at CES, LG is showcasing its home appliance technology. To share highlights from this year's appliance line for the U.S. is Patrick Steinkuhl. He came to LG in 2010 after holding key product marketing positions at Bosch and Whirlpool. At LG Electronics USA, Patrick is Consumer Insight Strategist for Home Appliances. Patrick Steinkuhl.
Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Ahn, John. Thank you all. Um, I kind of feel like the new guy here. Um, this is a year of firsts. This is my first time presenting products at the Consumer Electronics Show. This is LG's first time of presenting home appliances at the Consumer Electronics Show. More importantly, this is the first time the industry has actually had the infrastructure to support the technology for smart appliances. LG is building the lines, is blurring the lines between home electronics and home appliances. Home electronics, which you're very familiar with, home appliances, which you may not be. And we are offering a whole home solution to make life easier. What does this mean? This means smarter cooking, smarter cleaning, and smarter cooling. Ultimately, every feature that I speak about this evening, or this morning, is geared towards making life easier and saving consumers time, saving energy, and saving hassle while offering peace of mind and the ability for people to focus on those things that they truly value. So first up is smarter cooking. Imagine an oven that is so smart that on Thanksgiving Day, you can download the latest turkey recipe providing optimal cooking results. Imagine an oven that has lightning fast preheat times and consistency of interior cooking temperature so that every single cookie is going to be cooked exactly the same way every time. Imagine an oven that is so smart that on the day of the big game, it's able to send you a text message and said, hey, your roast is about done. Better get in the kitchen. Imagine a laundry product that is that with the six motion wash technology and a direct drive motor is able to offer the ability to clean warm water results using cold water and therefore much more efficient uh, energy. Imagine a laundry product that has the ability to determine if something is wrong, whether or not to call diagnosis, whether or not to let you know about it. Imagine a dishwasher with incredibly, incredibly gentle yet dynamic cleaning results, able to blast the toughest lipstick off of the most delicate wine glasses. But more exciting to me this today is imagine a robot that is able to clean your home knowing exactly what your room looks like, exactly where it is in the room, and exactly what points of the room it has yet to get to. And imagine a refrigerator that is, with our linear compressor technology, is incredibly quiet, incredibly efficient, and offers, and offers a, a, a wonderful range of, of, of energy efficient um, products. This refrigerator sits on the smart grid which means it has the ability to determine exactly how much energy use you are, you are putting through the product. You can adjust your temperature on your way home from the store so that if you have, the, if you have some ice cream, you want to drop your temperature down just before you get home, you're able to do that. Imagine a refrigerator that has the ability to send you a text message shopping list while you're at the store to let you know what you're running low on. And that same refrigerator, which has the ability to tell you some of your food is about to expire, you better go to the store. So thank you all very much. I know I was fast, and I know I went through a lot of information this morning, but I encourage all of you to come by the LG booth, where you can pull me aside and ask me anything you want to ask me. And if you catch me wandering around the halls, it's not that I'm in the wrong trade show. It's just I'm the new guy here at CES. Thank you so much. Last but definitely not least is someone many of you know well, Tim Alessi, Director of New Product Development for Home Entertainment in the United States. With more than two decades of experience at Sony and Sharp, Tim joined LG in 2004. He's responsible for U.S. product development in all home electronic categories. He's here today to wrap up our press conference and share LG's U.S. Home, 
Air Home Entertainment Product Roadmap for 2011. Tim Alessi. Thank you, John. Good morning, everyone, and once again, Happy New Year. It's great to see you all here again at CES, and I'm really excited to be able to have the opportunity to present a little bit more about our smart strategy. You already heard Dr. Ahn introduce a couple of the key elements of that strategy with Cinema 3D and Smart TV. Those two platforms, along with a core value for excellent picture quality, make up our smart strategy. But I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you how we got so smart. And it's simple. Everything we do, we're guided by the consumer. We're trying to meet the consumer's needs, their wants, and make products that are easy to use and fill those needs in the best way possible. And that's critically important, especially as new technologies like smart TV come into the market. For example, we did a lot of consumer research about smart TV, and we found that what people want out of a smart TV are three main elements. They want a lot of content to watch. It has to be able to connect into their home network very easily, and it has to be easy to use. On the content side, it was only about two years ago that LG actually pioneered the concept of having uh, a connected CE device with the BD200, included Netflix. It's grown rapidly from there, and we're going to continue to partner with high-quality partners like Netflix, like Cinema Now, and Vudu, and expand on that with some new partnerships, a few of them you see on the screen, Hulu Plus, Amazon Video On Demand, and many more. When you add on our smart share capability and the LG App Store, we're going to be second to none in the market with the amount of content that we deliver to our consumers. As far as connectivity, even with all the great partnerships that we're offering, we're going to provide access to the web with a very simple, easy to use browser right on the TV. The DLNA uh, and smart share functions will enable people to connect within their own, uh, their own home network for locally stored content. And we're going to make it simpler than ever to, to integrate into that home network by including a Wi-Fi adapter or building in Wi-Fi capability with virtually every smart product that we make. But the way, the way we can really set ourselves apart is in ease of use. With all of this content option, we have to provide a very simple way to organize it and access it. And we think we really have a hit here. You saw the home screen on Dr. Ron's presentation, but the real key to it is this Magic Motion remote. This simple device has only six buttons on it, but with a simple click, I can enter the home screen, navigate directly to any of the content providers without multiple clicks through, or even navigate into other menus with other content providers. Very simple, very fun, and very intuitive. And I don't think you'll see anything else like it on the market this year. You already heard that we won the Innovation Award for our platform, and we're really excited about that. But we really put this smart platform to the acid test. Again, we went to the consumer and asked their opinion. About 30 days ago, we did some focus groups, and we took our smart TV upgrader box, and we stacked it up against a couple of products that are already out on the market that do similar functions. After consumers had a chance to experience how to use them, what they all had to offer, we asked what their first choice purchase preference was. And you can see that LG beat our, the nearest competitor by a wide margin and a couple of pretty formidable competitors at that. In Cinema 3D, here again, we're meeting consumers' needs by eliminating some of the pain points. And this is mainly around the overall 3D experience. And our message here is really simple. It's going to be the most comfortable 3D viewing experience, just like going to the movies. Besides all of the advantages that Dr. Ron explained, with less crosstalk and uh, no need for glasses to sync, the glasses themselves are lighter, less than 20 grams, and less expensive, less than $20, so that you'll be able to provide glasses for all of your friends and family to come over and have a 3D movie night or watch a big event. We're going to even provide four pairs of glasses in the set themselves, and they're going to provide the most comfortable viewing experience. How do we know this? Well, again, we asked the consumers. We stacked up our Cinema 3D against one of our current 3D shutter glass systems, 
And we asked a series of questions that you can see on the board here about motion picture quality, brightness, the effect perception of 3D, and the overall experience. And the Cinema 3D beat out shutter glass type by as much as 3 to 1, with no perceived loss in resolution. I'm going to go out on a limb here, take a page from my man Rex Ryan, and predict that this is going to be one of the top performing models in the US in 2011. And I think there's even better chance than the 18 to 1 odds the Jets are getting right now, too. Finally, picture quality has been a long heritage of LG, and we're going to continue to lead the market in this area with our nano full LED technology. Nano backlighting takes all of the benefits of picture quality for a full array of LEDs, brighter, cleaner, smoother pictures, using our micro pixel control technology for detailed local dimming. It's going to provide uh, picture quality that's worthy of THX certification. Still one of the only models in the world, only, only LCD models in the world to attain that level of picture quality, all without sacrificing design. Because of the unique nature of this technology, all this can be housed in a cabinet that's less than one inch in depth. And we're going to continue our partnership with THX in several plasma models as well. So just in case you think we're reserving all this smart technology for a few key models at the top of the line, let me give you just a quick rundown of where you're going to see it all. First, in our LCD lineup, we're introducing 31 new models. Two-thirds of them will use LED technology, with the top three being the nanotechnology. We're going to have the smart TV platform in more than half the models as well, with a wide variety of technologies and screen sizes and also 3D TV in those top five series, including our Cinema 3D. On plasma, we're also going to continue to move the market forward in this very important technology with 12 new models, including, again, smart TV, 3D, and a full line of 1080p in various screen sizes. And we're going to continue to set the trend in design with plasma with our true slim frame providing the industry's slimmest bezel and in a thin design as well. Beyond display, we're going to introduce nine new models of source components being Blu-ray and Blu-ray home theater, most of which also are 3D enabled and contain the smart TV platform. We're going to introduce a few new key products in this as well. The, um, Smart TV upgrade box we already talked about, but we're also going to come out with our first portable Blu-ray player. And a sound bar, which you can see on my right over here, which will provide great high quality sound very conveniently in either places where it's not practical to put a full 5.1 system, such as a bedroom. And this also has smart technology too through Bluetooth, where I can stream from my smartphone the music that's on there, or it can stream to Bluetooth headset for privacy viewing. And even beyond AV, when you visit our booth, you're going to see a great lineup of some of the best looking and best performing computer monitors that will be out in 2011, a full line of front projectors, including our fantastic 3D front projector for the ultimate home theater experience, and a lineup of optical disk drive and network attached storage products. I think you'll be impressed. Jane, how'd we do? Wow, color me impressed. Smart TV, smartphones, smart appliances, 3D TV. I mean, this stuff isn't just smart, why, it's brilliant. Listen up, reporters and bloggers, here's your headline. OMGLG. Nice work, team. And I'll be hitting you up for that spokesperson discount. 